Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today, yes, again, I'm going to be working on my sister's 2010 Nissan Pathfinder. In this particular issue that she's having, the air conditioning unit works, but it only works on one setting and that is it. You cannot turn it off and it constantly just blows out at approximately about two or three bars rather than being able to adjust it. So if you're having this problem, then stick around. Okay, so I'm now in the vehicle and as you can see, my AC is on. You can clearly hear it within the vehicle. Now that's showing that it's one bar at the minute, which is obviously not true because it wouldn't be this loud inside the vehicle. If I turn the dial, as you can tell, it doesn't get any quicker. If I turn it the other way to turn it off, it still keeps going. There's still air coming out of the fan out of the vents inside the vehicle. So it's still not switching off. Now, if this is the issue that you're having, the problem lies from what I can see on the research that I've done underneath the passenger footwell. Okay, so what the issue is gonna be underneath that passenger side is gonna be the AC heat speed resistor. You need to replace that. So that's what I purchased. The reason why um, I purchased this is because I've done my research, I've gone onto other YouTube channels and found that this is the prime suspect for the issue to fix this problem. So I went out and I purchased that. It cost me around about 60 bucks to get that. I will leave a link in the description below from where I purchased it from and how much it actually cost. All right, so let's not waste any more time. Let's get underneath that um, passenger footwell and have a look at that resistor that needs to be replaced. Okay, so we're now underneath the passenger footwell. As you can see here, we have a connection clip. That connection clip goes to your resistor. This is the thing that we need to replace. Okay, so I've just got underneath and I've figured out that we need a T20 star bit to undo the uh, resistor. Alrighty, so once you're in the passenger seat and you've released the resistor, just make sure that you get the right one. Now there are two different types that you can buy for this particular model. I was unaware of that. Um, so I, even, I firstly bought this particular resistor um, without taking out the old one, just assuming that when I went online, that this one came up for this particular model and I purchased this one. Um, which I later found out was incorrect, hence why I'm now in different clothing. So this is the correct one. So this is the new one, and this is the old one. Now the, the reason why they're such different um, to one another is because this one is a dual aircon system in this particular model. That's the only reason I can think of. Don't, cor don't um, correct me on that. But um, yeah, just make sure um, that you get the correct resistor that you need. So best advice I can give from that is don't do what I, do what I did and just took it by what was said on uh, the internet. Physically take out the old resistor so you can see which one that you need. So then when you buy the new one online, they're gonna match up. Alrighty, so now you're down in the passenger footwell and you're gonna take out your old resistor, which I already have, this one right here. And this is my new one. So first things first, before I put it all together and pop it back up in underneath, I'm just gonna clip the connection on and then turn the key just to see everything works correctly. Okay, so I just started the engine. It's now on number one fan. Let's turn it right up and see what happens. There you go, as you can hear now, I can reduce or increase the fan and I can turn it off completely. So that has done the job of fixing my fan speed in the vehicle. So there you go guys, 
That is my sister's um, speed resistor. Okay, so there you go, guys. That's another one done. Um, in regards to price, um, this one cost me $95 delivered, and this one was about $65 delivered. So yeah, please don't get that wrong like I did. Just make sure you take the old one out, figure out which one it is, and then order that one. Okay, another job done, another video done. Don't forget, please give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, subscribe to the channel, press that bell notification because I'll be putting other videos up in regards to other vehicles that I'm trying to fix. Um, yeah, and until then, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.